Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Cory, and welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption 2 online video. And in this video, we are going to be doing a little bit of some money making possibilities in Red Dead Online. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be heading north just outside of Rhodes and we're going to be doing some hunting. Now, obviously with some of the updates, there's been a few things that have been uh, taken away from us, like the carcass fishing. Um, so we're kind of resorted back to some of the methods that we had quite a while ago and now you're probably wondering why am i doing this so early in the morning and that's because i'm trying to hunt a panther that is just north of roads now this one always seems to escape me but i am determined that we are going to go after this thing the best that we can but i need to get out my bolt action rifle and we're going to prepare to hunt this awesome animal now uh if you guys haven't checked out my previous uh video i did actually unlock the evans repeater i kind of break down everything as far as what i believe and what i think about the evans repeater so hopefully you guys can check that out and see if it's something that you guys want to uh, invest some money in because you will spend a little bit of money well anyway we are here at the location that we need to be at and we're gonna go on in and we're gonna see if we can find this panther now this thing always seems to come after me when i'm not recording but this is the location that it should be in now typically when there are animals around here like the wild bear and the deer that you saw back that way for whatever reason this thing never wants to spawn here so this looks like it's going to be a little bit of a dud so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put my environment rifle in my other spot here and i can show you a great spot to make a little bit of extra cash if the panther isn't here so we're just going to come over this ridge right here and i'm going to show you exactly where I, where we are on the map and that's right in this area so the panther should spawn right about here and like i said we are going to be kind of just going north of roads and that's the location that we need to be at and there's going to be like spoonbills and egrets and the gators and hopefully some panthers here but this is a great location to make some extra cash. Now I have showcased this uh, be this method before, but you know, hunting some of the birds and if we can get a panther every now and then, especially the gators, it can make us a little bit of extra cash. Um, so this is a great area, and we're not that far away from a butcher to be or to be able to sell some of our items that we have. So. Let's go ahead and kind of get back into the swing of things here. You can see that there's a gator there, and we have a gator there. So what I'm going to be focusing on is these uh, spoonbills right here. And sometimes if you look over there, there'll be some spoonbills over there as well. So you can see that there's actually one right there. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to maybe peck him off, and I'm going to get these guys to fly in the air for me. So... And I can't see anything now because it's in the way. I can't see because of the grass. Really? Wow. That was absolutely terrible shooting on my part. I should have gotten away from this. Oh, my good gravy. And I don't like the fact that it always seems to spawn or to point at the stupid gators. When I'm clearly trying to point at the spoonbills. That gets really annoying in my honest opinion. Now, the nice thing about obviously coming to this area is there's typically almost always three gators right here in this area and what's nice about them is we can get a chance at picking up obviously a perfect uh, pelt but we're going to get the the big game meat is actually what we're here for so that we can replenish some of our our cores if we need to so i'm going to go ahead and grab this guy i'm going to skin him and i'm going to put him on the back of our horse i'm going to call over our horse here real quick and I, I can't believe how bad of a shot that was. I, I don't like, first of all, that it always seems to target the gators, like, every single time. It doesn't matter what I put the settings on as far as um, narrow, wide. Pretty much the only option that I would have would be free aim, and I am absolutely terrible at free aim in this game for whatever reason. I can play Anthem, 
and like Halo and Call of Duty and those types of games and never have any issue with free aim. But man, put me in, put me in Red Dead Online and I can't do crap with free aim. So let's go ahead and skin this guy right here. And we actually only got one, one, really one spoon bell, really? That's, that is absolutely terrible. But we, look at that. We already got maxed out. Um, meat just from these gators right here. So we're going to go after this one. I don't even know if this one is a perfect. It's a good, so we might have to go ahead and do that one. There's obviously something in there that our horse is freaking out about. And look at that. We actually got a gang hideout to appear for on for us. What in the hell are you doing, you stupid mother flipping horse? Stop freaking out! You're supposed to be good at this shit. Don't be a dumbass, okay? No, 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 no. Come, come, okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. The fuck is your problem, horse? Just, I don't know what your problem is. I know that you think you see something. Just calm your ass down. I'll take care of it. What do we got in here anyway? Oh, there is a gator in there. I probably just ruined its pelt completely we got a cotton mouth but i'm definitely going to be going after that uh see i shouldn't be using my bolt action rifle for this but apparently there is a gator in here somewhere and i'm just not seeing it yeah you freak out horse there's a gator right here i can see that one and you're done zo I'm hoping that there's not another one in here, but because I am going to take everything that I can. And the nice thing about them being in the water is they... What in the hell? Whoa, 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 dude. That thing is like freaking out. You need to be done. You need to be done. Skin that. Oh, hey, look at that. We got actually a little bit of fish. So the other thing that you can do in this area is pick up these fish. And I've uh, I've mentioned that in like past um, videos. I'm going to go drop that. But we got fishies here that we can go ahead and pick up. Right there. We got a bluegill. Make a little extra money. And I thought I saw something about a spoonbill right in this area. Maybe it was just close to the horse. I'm kind of afraid to go in there because I feel like there might be something else in there. But I do see some fish that we need to grab. I'm going to go ahead and grab that bluegill here. And then it looks like we have a smallmouth bass or maybe something else right here. I think it's a smallmouth. Yeah, it was a smallmouth bass. So obviously that's going to give us a couple extra bucks here. There we go. I'm just going to go ahead and hop on my horse here. And then what we need to do is we're going to go and check out this uh, gang hideout because obviously we're active in this area. And this hideout is fantastic for this area. I'm hoping that I can cross this with hopefully not too many problems. There we go. Perfect. This fight right here as best that we can. So we're going to... Hello, my friends. Somehow I don't think so. Okay, that should make that guy. Yes, he just kind of gave up. Perfect. I think you got. I think you need you sir need to run with a different uh, crew, because you get they were absolutely terrible. So we're gonna loot this guy real quick, and we're gonna see if this guy gives us a map. Oh, I'm sure you are. Come here. Stop hiding. I'm going to smack you in the face, my friend. All right, let's see if this guy gives us a treasure map here real quick. That would be amazing if we actually got that. And we're only going to get 49 cents. So boo-hoo to that. I don't know what else we actually have around this area, unfortunately. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. There's a flock of them right here, guys. 
Oh, jeez. This is money, but this is money making opportunity number one. 101. Oh, look at that, my friends. Okay, horse, don't run over it, though. All right, so we if we can get some perfect ones. Oh, yeah, we're just going to pick this guy up. We're going to put him on our horse. We're going to replace this this douchebag on this side because this one was only a two star. And we can skin this one at the butcher itself. How about this guy? Oh, yeah. So if the other ones are perfect, then I don't really care about them because we're just going to go in and skin them right here because we got the best opportunities right here. Obviously, if we could have got ourselves the panther, this would have been an amazing route to, to do this with. Let's go ahead and skin this guy. And we got a couple more. And then we're going to make it back to the butcher in Rhodes. So I'm really glad that we did find that uh, gang hideout. Unfortunately, we didn't get a treasure map. But that, like I said, that uh, gang hideout does happen more often than not just because we are active in the area. I mean, with all the gators and us to going after the spoonbills or egrets or whooping cranes or all the different types of uh, varieties of birds in this area, we can kind of add to the potential of making more money. And if we can get ourselves our hands on a treasure map, then, wow, we're going to just... We're going to make bank. And obviously, by doing all the... We're going to get a ton of resourcefulness from this as well. So let's go ahead and head back to Rhodes here real quick. And then we're going to see how much money we made from this trip. Well, we've made it back to Rhodes. And I'm kind of disappointed that we didn't get our Panther. But that's A-OK. -okay. So let's see how much money we actually made from this. I do need some money considering the fact that I... Oops, I don't want to buy from the Butcher. I want to sell to the Butcher. I really don't need anything right now. And uh, I'm going to keep the meat. That I know that's going to make us $7.50. So you can add that. But I do need to cook some of this stuff up. We got ourselves a couple bluegills. So we're going to sell that for $1.50. And just to keep in mind that we had ten seventy-eight dollars going into this. So let's go ahead and sell all this stuff and see how much money we're going to make from this just real quick. Obviously, Spoonbill uh, Plumes, we don't know, we're not getting quite as many as we had got from before. But we got the teeth. Um, obviously, we can get that. We're going to sell the good alligator skin and just like that that's over 20 bucks but we also got these guys here that we can go ahead and pull off of our horse and skin them and sell them as well all right so i did uh skin these two or pluck these two uh perfect spoon bills right here and we're gonna add another couple bucks to this uh, method so we actually made thirty dollars but we'd actually probably make 40 with this it really not too shabby for going and we also did a gang hideout in the time frame but anyway that is all the time that i have for you guys in today's video unfortunately they did kind of uh you know downgrade the amount of plumes that we can get from the birds which is really unfortunate because it was a great way of making money before. But if you get a, get a panther instead of the alligator skin, you're going to make you know up to $14 if it's perfect. That would be an awesome opportunity right there. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. And if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys stay gaming. <laughs>